One of the most pressing concerns in water protection and conservation today is the increasing water scarcity and stress caused by climate change, population growth, and unsustainable water use practices. The water crisis threats human health, ecosystems, and economic development, particularly in water insecurity regions. Climate change is affecting water source worldwide. As rising temperature and changing the availability and distribution of water, melting glacier and ice caps cause sea level to rise, result in salt water intrusion into fresh water sources, making them unusable for human consumption and agriculture. Additionally, more frequent and intense extreme weather events, such as floods, hurricanes, and droughts can damage infrastructure, disrupt water supply systems, and compromise drinking water quality. According to UNICEF, 74% of natural disasters between 2001 and 2018 were water-related, including droughts and floods. The frequency and intensity of these events are increasing, further exacerbating water scarcity and contamination. Climate change is a significant driver of the global water crisis. Addressing it is critical to ensure sustainable water management and access to clean and safe water. Proper water management practices can help mitigate the effects of climate change on water resources and prevent the ongoing water crisis. In the last decade, public awareness of environmental protection in China has increased due to the air pollution, more frequent extreme weather events, and the COVID-19 pandemic highlighting the relationship between human beings and the nature. Since China announced its objective of achieving carbon neutrality at 2020, the environment has become a quite popular topic in China. The Chinese government has implemented various measures to promote a more environmentally friendly lifestyle in recent years. In 2019, China released the Zero Waste Plan, which included advocating for a clean plate campaign and introducing false community waste classification. These measures have direct, directly impacted urban citizens' lives and made household garbage a daily topic. Additionally, the bike sharing industry has gained popularity, which contribute to reducing carbon emissions significantly. However, there is still a long way to go from recognizing environmental problems to taking action on proactively changing lifestyles. For example, China's food delivery market has grown nearly 40-fold in the last decade with more than half of internet users in China using online food delivery services as of the end of 2021. Fast developed food delivery industry has led to the use of large amounts of single-use plastic, creating another environmental problem that needs to be addressed. China's environmental water quality increased significantly in the last decade. According to China's annual environmental reports, the proportion of surface water with good and excellent quality increased by more than 20% from 2015 to 2022, which means the drinkable surface water in China reached almost 90%. China has implemented several schemes to improve the quality and protection of its water resources, including stricter regulations, promoting public participation, and decreasing investment in water treatment infrastructure. In the last decade, China has shifted the responsibility of water quality management from simply reducing wastewater discharges to a more comprehensive approach focusing on regional water resource management. By the river shaft system, 
Local government officials are assigned as river chefs responsible for coordinating efforts to improve water quality. This system has helped increase accountability and address water quality issues locally. Public participation has been crucial in driving water quality improvement in China. The government has encouraged citizens' involvement in environmental monitoring and reporting by establishing various channels for citizens to report water pollution incidents and severe polluted waterways. Social media platforms have also raised public awareness and mobilized citizens to take action on environment issues. For example, the Chinese government has launched the Black and Others Water Treatment Campaign to encourage citizens to report severely polluted waterways through specific social media channels. Infrastructure plays an essential, essential role in water resource management. China's investment in water treatment infrastructure has been increasingly steadily. According to data from China Water Risk, China's spending on urban water supply and wastewater treatment has increased from around 90 billion yuan in 2006 to 550 billion yuan in 2020. These approaches could be also be valuable for improving water quality and protecting other countries.